Hello all, welcome to today's video. In this video, we will take a look, at one of the most important aspect of engineering. Energy Engineering Energy is essential to life in all living organisms. It is the base to all forms of engineering. Without energy, the world would not run. Energy growth is directly linked to well-being and prosperity across the globe. Let me brief you about the two basic words that you need to understand before getting into the main part of the video. Energy and power. Energy. It is the capacity to do work or ability to create change. For instance, pushing an object is an example of work and the ability to push it is known as energy. The SI unit of energy is Julie. Power. It is the measure of how quick the energy is used. The SI unit of power is Watt. Now let us see the types of energy. Let us see how these energies are formed and are being used. Non-renewable energy is obtained from nature and does not replenish over time. Most of the non-renewable energy are fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gas. Fossil fuels were formed from ancient plants and organisms during the Carboniferous period. The land was covered with organisms, plants and trees. As these organisms died, they sank to the bottom of the ocean and formed layers of spongy material. These material were covered by sand, clay and other minerals over million years to form sedimentary rocks. With time different types of fossil fuels are formed based on the organic matter present, how long it is buried, and what temperature and pressure existed. Coal is formed from plants, ferns and trees, which harden due to pressure and heat. Oil is formed from smaller organisms, like algae and zooplankton. Intense pressure caused the formation of oil. Natural gas is formed similar to oil, but the process is long and is subject to more heat and pressure. Fossil fuels are the world's dominant energy source, making up 82% of global supply. Before knowing more about the fossil fuels, let me tell you two facts related to it. Edwin Drake was the first one to drill rock oil well in Pennsylvania. Gottlieb Dialmer was the first person to invent an automobile that runs on petroleum. Coal is one of the most important primary fossil fuel. It is rich in carbon. As mentioned earlier, Coal is formed due to the decomposition of plant and living organisms. There are four different types of coal. First one is anthracite. It is the highest rank. It is hard, brittle and often referred to as hard coal. This type of coal contains high carbon content. The next type is bituminous. This type has high heating value and is most commonly used in electricity generation. It appears shiny. The third type is subituminous. It is black in color. The last type is lignite. It is also known as brown coal. It has the least concentration of carbon. Coal is extracted from the earth through underground mining or surface mining. The choice of mining method is largely determined by the geology of the coal deposit and its distance to the surface. Underground mining currently accounts for a larger share of world coal production than surface mining. Coal can be burned for heating or to produce electricity. To convert thermal coal to electricity, it is first milled to a fine powder, which increases the surface area and allows it to burn more quickly. The hot gases and heat energy produced from combustion converts water into steam to run a turbine and generator. Coal is a highly abundant and 
cheap energy resource. Coal has powered the industrialization of many nations over history and continues today. It is a big player in today's energy system, providing 40% of the world's electricity. Oil, otherwise known as petroleum or crude oil, is a thick black liquid composed primarily of hydrogen and carbon. Oil also contains trace elements of sulfur, nitrogen and oxygen. Oil is found in specific underground rocks called reservoirs. The rocks have tiny spaces in them that allow them to hold water, natural gas or oil. Rocks surround the reservoir and trap oil in its place. Oil is extracted from the reservoir by drilling a well and pumping it up the well. Once recovered, oil is transported by pipeline, ship, rail, or truck to a refinery, where it undergoes a complex process that produces petroleum products such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, home heating fuel, lubricating oil and asphalt. Approximately 71% of global oil consumption is used to produce fuel to power transportation systems. Natural gas is primarily methane, with smaller quantities of other hydrocarbons. Conventional natural gas can be extracted through drilling wells. Unconventional forms of natural gas like shale gas, tide gas, sour gas, cold methane and gas hydrates have specific extraction techniques. Natural gas can also be found in reservoirs with oil and is extracted alongside oil this is called associated gas. In the past, this gas was commonly flared or burned as a waste product. But in most places today is captured and used. Then natural gas is sent through small pipelines called gathering lines to processing plants. Which separate the various hydrocarbons and fluids from the pure natural gas. To produce what is known as pipeline quality dry natural gas. Processing involves four main processes to remove the various impurities. Gas is then transported through pipelines called feeders to distribution centers or stored. In some cases, gas is further liquefied for shipping in large tankers across oceans. This is called liquefied natural gas. Natural gas is mostly used for domestic or industrial heating and to generate electricity. It can also be compressed and used to fuel vehicles and as a feedstock for fertilizers, hydrogen fuel cells and other chemical processes. Engineers at Ohio State University are developing a technology that can transform shale gas into products such as methanol and gasoline and also consume carbon dioxide. They have also found a way to extend lifetime of particles that enable chemical reaction to transform fossil fuels to electricity. Now let us see about renewable energy. It is the energy produced from sources that do not deplete or can be replenished within a human's life. Solar energy is the radiant light and heat from the sun that has been harnessed by humans since ancient times using a range of ever-evolving technologies. A solar panel works by allowing photons or particles of light to knock electrons free from atoms generating a flow of electricity. That's a technical way of saying that the panel's photovoltaic cells convert the energy in sunlight to electricity specifically, direct current. This DC electricity is then converted to alternating current by an inverter. Wind energy is the process by which wind is used to generate electricity. The wind turbines convert kinetic energy in the wind to mechanical energy. This mechanical power is then used for 
specified tasks. Hydropower refers to generation of power by converting energy from the flow of water into electricity. This is considered as renewable energy because water cycle is constantly renewed by the sun. Tidal power or tidal energy is the form of hydropower that converts the energy obtained from tides into useful forms of power, mainly electricity. Although not yet widely used, tidal energy has the potential for future electricity generation. Tides are more predictable than the wind and the sun. Geothermal energy is heat derived within the subsurface of the earth. Water or steam carry the geothermal energy to the earth's surface. Depending on its characteristics, geothermal energy can be used for heating and cooling purposes or be harnessed to generate clean electricity. Biomass energy is energy generated or produced by living or once living organisms. The most common biomass materials used for energy are plants, such as corn. The energy from these organisms can be burned to create heat or converted into electricity. With increase in the use of renewable energy, there is a new field of engineering developing over the years. Energy engineering. It combines knowledge from the fields of physics, math, and chemistry with economic and environmental engineering practices. Energy engineers apply their skills to increase efficiency and further develop renewable sources of energy. The main job of energy engineers is to find the most efficient and sustainable ways to operate buildings and manufacturing processes. With that we come to the end of today's video. Hope it was informative. Kindly subscribe to the channel and keep supporting us. We'll meet you in the next video soon.